Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing okay. We're all isolated at the moment, aren't we? And I'm guessing that for most of us, that's with other people. For me, it's with my family. So that's who I'm spending all my time with at the moment. And I'm having some really great times with them and I'm really thankful for that family time. But also, if we're honest, there are times where it just gets a bit intense, doesn't it? And you just wanna go and see your friends and interact with some other people too. And I've noticed that it's in those moments that I find myself getting a bit irritable and choosing to focus on things that annoy me and the people around me rather than the good. And the other day in my Bible, I was reading a bit in Colossians, which is a letter written by this guy, Paul, to some other Christians. And at the end, he has this chunky paragraph where he um, talks about seven different people that he wants to mention. And for each person, he says something positive about them. So I'll give you some examples. He says there's this guy, Tychicus. He is a beloved brother and faithful helper who serves with me in the Lord's work. And then there's Mark, who's been a real comfort to Paul. And then there's Epaphras, um, who he describes as a really good prayer. <laughs> and Luke as a beloved doctor. And so you see the point. Paul picks out something really positive in each of these people. And it really challenged me because I thought, Paul was in prison, his life would have been really, really hard. He, the prisons would not have been nice, he would be in awful conditions, would be completely restricted, not allowed to go out and see whoever he wants. Um, and I'm sure he would have got irritated with people, like he was a human, but yet he st chooses to focus on the positives in these people that he wants to mention and I just thought that was such a great example and I want to be more like that I want to see the positive things in people and even be able to point that out to others and yeah the the fact is that God has made us all good and that's how he sees us he made us and said to us you are good and of course we all have flaws but we can choose um, to try and see other people around us how God sees us so let's pray together Lord, I thank you that you have made us all good. And I thank, yeah, just thank you for that fact. And that is amazing. And I pray that you'd help all of us to focus on the good in each other and to love other people well how you do. Amen.